Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton, and today I'll be reviewing some ABS filament by Refill. So let's get to it. So if you don't know Refill, they are a company based in Netherlands that turns plastic waste into 3D printing filament. Their ABS filament is 100% recycled. It comes from car dashboards, door panels, and other plastic parts. Also they don't use any extra dyes in the manufacturing process, so the color of the filament may vary a bit from spool to spool. But hey, who cares, I mean it's recycled. So let's check it out. Refill's filaments come inside this box. What's cool and unique about this box is that the back has some pre-cut tags so you can use them when you post a picture using this filament or when you sell a print. Inside the box you'll only find the roll of filament, which is vacuum sealed. The spool is made out of recycled cardboard, which is not my favorite thing, but in this case it pushes even further the recycling theme. Plus it's not the typical flimsy cardboard, it's actually quite stiff. I like that it does have some cutouts so you can see exactly how low on filament you are. The winding on this filament is also very good, so no problems there. The filament itself is very smooth and feels quite soft and flexible, more than regular ABS. The diameter is very consistent, so you should get a nice looking finish even if this filament is recycled. So let's see how well it prints. As always, I printed my three usual test designs, a calibration cube, a Marvin and a 3D Benchy. Using an E3D V6 at a point to a layer height, I found 240 degrees to be a great printing temperature, and glue stick with a bed at 85 to 90 degrees, great for adhesion. However, this may vary for you. As for the results, the calibration cube printed with no imperfections. The letters are well defined and the corners sharp. As for the Marvin, brim was easily removed, and the overhangs came out really nice better than in most tests I've ever done, and on par with Melting's ABS. Same thing with the Benchy. Curves came out smooth, overhangs straight, and the bridging on point. Knowing that this filament prints perfectly, I went ahead and printed a couple of things that I thought might look great with this filament. I started by printing this rocket launch, which is pretty cool and prints in one piece using supports. Then I printed this dragon from MakerBot's collection. I think it's one of my favorite dragon designs, it just looks very cool. Then I printed a low poly Bowser designed by Flowalistic. I love low poly designs and this one looks just mean. Then I printed this vase using vase mode and it looks and feels silky smooth. Individual layers were even hard to see in some areas. Finally I printed this buckle which can be useful to secure things in your projects and it's made out of ABS so it will handle some wear and tear. In conclusion, this ABS filament prints like a charm, plus it's recycled so you know you're making a good choice. Also I saw no warping during my tests, which is awesome for an ABS filament. And remember that ABS handles higher temperatures, stronger impacts and more flexing than PLA. As with any other ABS filament, it can be sanded easily and smoothed with acetone vapor. So this filament is very good to make functional parts or to achieve a smooth finish. If you want to try a roll for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description along with all the designs I featured in this video. Also remember to tag ThinkMaking in Instagram or Twitter to get a chance to get your creations featured. Well guys, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you loved it, consider supporting me through Patreon or by buying some cool stuff in my merch store. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're wondering what to watch next, check out that video. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.